Institute of Chartered Accountants has expressed concern about the rising number of black students who are failing at the final hurdle to qualify for the coveted uh, profession. Uh, we're talking about chartered accountants. Only 24% of African students who wrote the final board exam last year managed to pass. This marks a significant deterioration from a 44% pass rate among black students in 2019. The highly coveted pr uh, profession of chartered accountants is already skewed in favor of white, Indian and colored South Africans. Despite the challenges posed by the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic last year, the historically advantaged demographics continue to do exceptionally well in the board exams. That's compared to their black counterparts who are falling further behind. Saika says it will commission a comprehensive study to understand the root cause of the problem. Well, uh, let's find out more now. We're joined by the Senior Executive of National Projects at SICA, or the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants, and that's uh, Robert Zwane. Uh, Mr. Zwane, thank you for being with us. So can we clarify, these are students who go all the way, um, study very hard, but it's, it's that last exam, uh, the, the board exam to become a chartered accountant, uh, that trips them up. Francis, uh, good evening, and good evening to your to your viewers. You are right, uh, and maybe to contextualize it, uh, Francis, one would need to understand our qualifying route uh, for those who want to be CAs. Um, one would generally go through an accredited uh, degree program for three years and another uh, year's postgraduate program for a year, and then enter their three years of practice or of articles within that period in January of their first year of articles, they would write a, 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 a board exam or one of their first qualifying exams, which we call initial test of competence. And then in their second year, after they've had 20 months of practice, uh, they will then write their second uh, uh, board exam, which we call the assessment of professional competence. So you're very right, uh, Francis, that so far we are experiencing challenges over the last few years when it comes to the declining pass rates of the second uh, uh, assessment being the assessment of professional competence, yeah. uh, Francis. Thanks. So, so you, you're going to investigate, um, but is there any conjecture? Do, do you have any um, ideas as to why this is happening? So we have um, things that we believe could be contributing, things that we are looking into, and maybe quite importantly uh, as well, uh, Francis, and that is why part of what has happened over the last few years led us to uh, coming up with a number of initiatives that we implemented, uh, this including supporting candidates and exposing them through case studies, through to different industries. Uh, we also had competencies that were developed through a, an APC uh, Academy that we piloted last year. We also engaged, uh, Francis, with the candidates themselves to better understand what could be uh, contributing to the, to the decreasing in pass rates, specifically those of African candidates. And based on our understanding and based on the information we had at that time, we then implemented a number of uh, initiatives and those initiatives, um, um, Francis, seem to have not worked. And that is why we are back where we are, concerned very much as SICA yeah. with the decreasing pass rates. Because as we, as we see the pass rates decreasing for the African population, uh, we then see a widening gap between the African candidates and the white uh, candidates. And that is why what we are now doing is we have commissioned, as you've already alluded to that, we've commissioned an independent study that's, that's going to look at the full value uh, chain, uh, Francis, to ensure that we identify independently those aspects that could be blockages uh, in the process of our candidates are rich, uh, qualifying as CAs. And once that has been done, we are hoping that um, uh, the researchers will also then bring about recommendations as to how we take that forward. We will also be engaging with a number of our, our, our stakeholders to look at what solutions we can bring about to ensure that this uh, challenge is addressed. But that, uh, 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 Francis, will be looking at as time uh, as uh, as we 
implement those throughout yeah. the year. However, Francis, what is quite important is to understand that as we do a, 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 a medium term study, an independent study, we are also looking at interventions to assist those candidates that are already in the pipeline. Yeah. And that is why uh, the plan that we've come up with over the last few days from our, our, our consulting with a number of stakeholders involves looking at the short term to say, how do we assist those candidates that are rewriting this year in December on the 1st? And how do we look at the systemic issues that we might need to be addressing in uh, solving uh, the, the challenge that we are experiencing? Okay, Mrs. Wanda, thank you for that comprehensive answer. Um, but, but I'm trying to get... Uh... Very simply, where do you think the blame could lie? Um, at, at universities that don't get these black students uh, ready for, for those board exams, um, in the, the general education system or, or in the economic conditions that may be very different for black students versus white students? So, and Francis, all the things that you've mentioned are possible uh, uh, causes. And uh, sitting with uh, two of our key stakeholders, one spoke about this being an adaptive challenge or an adaptive problem. One uh, referred to it as a wicked problem. And what he was saying is there is possibly a number of issues that we look, we need to look into. And with that said, there is also possibly a number of solutions we need to look into. And yes, there are value chain issues. If you go to a, a basic education level, we have a number of challenges challenges when it comes to uh, uh, mathematics at high school. When it gets to university, we have a number of challenges. However, France is very, very important is that these are candidates that already have two degrees that have already passed our first uh, 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 qualifying uh, uh, as, uh, examination. And therefore, we need to get into the, the root of the issues by doing a proper study because mm. all of the things that we believed were causes seem to have not necessarily been the causes because all the, uh, the programs we've put in place did oh, not assist us in okay. improving uh, the pass yeah. rate over the last few years. And Finally. yes, we know that there are other issues such as COVID and all of those things, but we need to get a fuller understanding of the issues as well, Francis. Very quickly, this must be so demoralizing. So it's about basically one in four um, black students don't uh, get through. Sorry, so three out of four don't pass. What are their options then? How many chances do they, they get down the line? So, uh, and, and since uh, 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 this is the last of our uh, qualifying examination, it is hosted uh, annually once. Uh, it's generally in, uh, in November every year as candidates write that once they've had 20 months experience. And therefore, what we are looking at, uh, uh, Francis, is to assist uh, candidates who other things that we're sort of touching on is to ensure that we're also building candidates' confidence. We're also assisting candidates in facing the next attempt that they will have uh, towards uh, the end of this year. And with that said, there are a number of support initiatives, including technical uh, support in terms of technical knowledge or technical competence that we'll be looking at. But also very important, we're looking at how we assist the candidates so that they also stay uh, positive towards their next uh, attempt. So there's a number of uh, aspects that we will be looking into uh, in the yeah. next few uh, few weeks, few All months, right. right up until the candidates write the assessment again uh, on the 1st of December, Francis. All right, thank you. And we'll definitely look out for um, the, the findings of that investigation you've commissioned that was Senior Executive of National Projects at SICA, uh, the Institute for Chartered Accountants.